Hello and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Jordan Wilkerson. You know, some more homegrown talent is getting the Hollywood treatment on The Voice. The First Coast currently has not one but two contestants competing on the NBC show. And I recently caught up with Eva Ullman. Check this out. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. And you're from the Ponte Vedra Beach area. So we're so excited to be able to cheer you along. Um, and just so everyone knows, if you didn't get to see the show, you're Team Blake. But let's yes. talk a little bit real quickly about your favorite genre or, uh, yes. you know, because he turned around for you, but is country really where you're kind of headed? So, no. <laughs> um, love Blake. I love being on his team, but I'm definitely not a country musician. Um, I grew up listening to pop music, living, breathing, eating pop music. Um, and as I've kind of developed as a singer, I've kind of gone into a pop R&B lane um, and that's really where I'm most comfortable singing and writing songs. Um, I was, you know, raised on the likes of early Miley Cyrus and Taylor Swift and um, Ariana Grande is like my favorite musician of all time, Christina Aguilera, so definitely, definitely not a, a country artist, but it's kind of cool being one of the only pop musicians on Blake's team, I gotta say. Yeah, I'm sure that's so cool. Yeah. You, again, you're from our area, and you got into music at a pretty young age, but before that you were really into ballet until you got a diagnosis. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I was a ballerina for about 12 years. Um, I started super young, went all the way up until like right at the beginning of middle school. Um, and my ballet teacher actually one day was like, hey, uh, let me look at your spine really fast. And I ended up going to the doctor and getting diagnosed with scoliosis, um, which ended up being a little more serious than we expected. I had to go to a bunch of uh, different doctor's appointments, a lot of x-rays happened. Um, and basically I found out that I had pretty moderate to severe scoliosis and that I need to wear a back brace at night. Um, and I wore a back brace for a couple of years. Luckily I did not need surgery, but you know, ballet is a lot of, uh, you use your back a lot, you know, when you're doing Demanding. your back or when you're, you know, when you're leaning back. And I just couldn't really do that anymore. Um, so when dancing stopped, I was, eager to get into another form of activity, ended up swimming for a couple of years because um, it helps the joints. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'm allergic to chlorine, so that's super cool. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, I swear the universe was like, girl, just do music because I was doing music throughout all of that. I started doing music when I was a dancer and then continued it throughout swimming and everything. Um, and when I found out about the chlorine thing, I was like, you know, I love music anyway. Like, I'm just going to throw my heart and soul into that. and. I've never stopped, so. <laughs> and aren't you glad you did? How cool is oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> 2019, you actually had a six song EP release. It was called yeah. Youth. Tell us what kind of um, made those songs come about. Yeah, um, so I was going through high school and you know, high school is a weird time to be mm -hmm. alive. Um, there's a lot of heartbreak <laughs> and chaos and drama and you're kind of discovering who you are, but in a little bit of a tense environment, you know, people, it, high school can be a bit of a pressure cooker, so I ended up writing youth just kind of about those experiences of falling into into love or crushes or whatever you want to call it and right. meeting friends and kind of like discovering who I was and kind of going through the chaos of high school. Um, and that, that EP is very special to me. Um, I've actually released another one. I just released my second EP called Renaissance in June, I believe. Um, and I'm, it's like my child. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Congratulations. One, thank you so much. And that one's more about, um, I ended up going to college and I went abroad my first semester of college. I lived in Italy and I traveled the world and I went through a really big heartbreak right before that and went through a lot of family drama and family illness. And that's just all about kind of going through that process and finally kind of growing up. And I wanted to kind of do like the youth to Renaissance progression of Perfect. being really young and then kind of like that changing period that you get in college, in college where, you know, I don't know if I'm an adult yet, but I'm definitely <laughs> well on my way. So it's kind of like that transformation period. Well, I'm so glad we got to know you a little bit more, yeah. but I do have to ask, yes. what is next for you in the competition? Yes, so you've seen my blind audition, which was so exciting um, and maybe the coolest thing that's ever happened to me and I will never stop talking about it. Um, <laughs> but, um, what's next is the battle round. So I will be teamed up against someone from my team and we're going to sing a duet and we're going to battle it out and see who wins. That's what's next. Good luck with everything. Congratulations on your success thus far. 
And we hope to see you again on our show. I hope so too. Fingers crossed. And where can people follow you first before we go? Yes. So I primarily use Instagram and TikTok. Uh, my handle is at the underscore Eva underscore Diva on both. Oh, I love the name. Well, thank you <laughs> thank so you. much again. Break thank a leg. You. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.